do it now. Get out of bed, do what you need to do. Let's introduce the players. Here is the Terran hope of the tournament. One Terran stands among three Zergs, and this is him. It's Marine King taking that last game, taking one point on the scoreboard. And to the left, we have his opponent. It is our Startail player, Startail Life, with a 2 1. A favorite in this tournament. A lot of people said he's going to be the one. He's going to be the one taking them down. But now we have Marine King on a map where Terran players are not too happy against Zerg. Yeah, it's it's a rough map for Terran in general. The third base is far away as yeah. a Zerg player, but this is why Life knows to check for proxies right away because he says, well, Marine King might not want to play a long game on this map. He might not want to trifle with that third base. So I could see him proxying. So he checks the Lion's Sight Blocker. He's being very active with the scouting right now. The map is a little bit worse for Protoss, but for Terran, it's also... You can always get at the third base with a, yeah, with a Planetary Fortress, but which Terran player actually wants to build a Terran Planetary Fortress? You want to have the Orbitals, and we are talking about Marine King here. So uh, the chances that he does that are very unlikely. What he does, though, is going to go into the fifth, uh, the 14 CC again. On the high ground, he's not going to take any chances here. And Life has the drone scout out, and he also has currently his own hatch building. So, needs to make sure that the drone doesn't do any damage, but Marine King with a good opening, playing it a little bit safer, though, than get now. Yeah, number one. with these two openings collide, there's really no advantage to either player. It's, it's a pretty safe situation for both. Marine King... Now, once he finds out what Life is doing, if he scouts, which he's been reluctant to do so far in the series, we'll be a little bit disappointed he didn't make his command star on the low ground, yep. but that's the only thing he can really be sad about. It's still fine. I mean, this is a good opening. You have the command center out early, you go into your barracks, and then you can just do whatever you want in the main base. He would have loved to deny the scouting, because he wants to go into the double gas that we see now, a refinery, boom, number one, number two. Ooh, he may trap the drone. The drone hasn't seen has, this yet. Yeah, that hasn't been scouted, and wow, he actually takes it out. No scouting information. For life, this was really well done yeah. by Marine King. Very clever here. He has no information about the gases. So now he doesn't know if it's going to be a third CC. He doesn't know if it's going to be fast barracks follow up. And life going for a very fast double hatch. Yeah, it looks like double hatch even before pool. With gas, yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure that was. That's that's a great response to what he's already seen. It definitely is. Life with a very greedy opening, but you know, with Marine King deciding to go into the tech. That could be punished. It could be. It's, it's going to be very difficult for him to defend against Hellion Harass, which we are going to see. The factory comes out here very quick here at the 420 minute mark. That's pretty fast considering we've had a CC first come out for Marine King. And for life right now, what he needs to do is get some more information. It's somehow, some way, send his first few links out. Try to see if there are Hellions coming. Maybe try to run up that ramp because at this point in time, he doesn't even have link production start. He only went into Queens. A very fast Zergling speed that's going to be really, really useful for him to defend those Hellions, but he has to know they're coming first. And there's the question, how many is Marine King actually going to build? Ooh, With double factory. Like this. Yeah, and this is exactly what I was waiting for. The second factory being dropped because at this time, Marine King can go into a massive amount of Hellions. And think about how the map works. You have this huge distance between natural and third base. If Marine King is anticipating an early third on a map like Abyssal City, he can move in with a lot of Hellions, take down the drones, and he can even try to split them up if he goes for a, a keen amount of drones. I don't really think that's something that he's going to do. Right. Keen is still like the one shining example of, can I get more Hellions than SCVs in the game? Yeah. Is he, do I build more Hellions or kill more drones? You know, can his drone count exceed his Hellion count? He's always trying to find the balance. <laughs> um, I think we're just going to see the Infernal Pre-Igniter go down. We're going to see a switch on the factory. There it is. And I think you're right. It's not going to be an insane amount of Hellions, but this is going to be a scary opening, especially considering that life does not know it's coming. Yeah, life at this point really doesn't know what's going on here. Blue Flame Hellions are going to be built here, so that's going to be pretty, uh, pretty awesome for Marine King if he can sneak them in. And we have seen so many... Zerg players died to this. Think about Jadong. Yeah. Think about Jadong versus Flash. It was one of those series. No, I sorry, not the game against Flash. The game that he played against Dream. I think that was. I think you're right. Um, yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure about it, but it was the map that we had on uh, Cloud Kingdom. Jadong with a great opening has a lead in the game. Suddenly, all those Hellions boom in his base and roast 40 Zerg drones, and there was just nothing that he can do about it. So if you don't see it coming, if you don't know what's going on, it can kill you. But here comes a counter-attack, and that wall is not open, it's not closed. He immediately lifts the supply depot on the ramp, really important for him here. The Zerglings rushing in, the Hellions are there, the Lings oh, are wow. gone. This is, but you he know, the Lings are gone, time. but he bought himself time, and now he, he starts the Roach Warren. Immediately, he's seen everything, 
This is so important. But even though he's seen it, he still needs more time. The Roach Warren is not done. He starts his spine core. The third base is forfeit. He's not going to be able to defend his drones there. He needs to pull them out. And in fact, he does not. He's got a few queens here, but if Marine King goes straight for that third base, he should have no trouble killing the drones. Blue Flame is about to kick in, guys, and then those Zerglings will be useless, but now he's getting, he can get Roaches, and that's what he does. There is still some time left for Marine King to do damage. Can he go in here? Here come the Lings, trying to buy time. Just, he wants to kill the queen, this too. This is razor thin here for Marine King. He's killing the queen, but it looks like life is actually defended. Yeah, it's not over out. yet, but the roaches are popping out. The roaches are out, and now the harvester count 42 to 42 mules for Marine King, but the third base for life. It's totally uncontested. He he did not attack there. Had he gone in, he could have done so much damage, but this is a little bit unlucky. He doesn't know the third base is there, but he can assume. Now he's going to see it, and still, the roaches need to get over here. In fact, he can kill some drones. Yes, and he can kill a lot with a good placement, and he's trying to get between the mineral patches. That's the best area that he could go for. He's making the best out of the few Hellions that he had still left on the map, but in total, he could only kill four workers. This is how amazing life defended yeah. here. 30 supply lead for life, 94 to 61 right now. Life making 26 uh -oh. links, and he's actually forcing a, a depot down. He's going to oh be God. able to kill Look some SCVs. Look at that minimap. So no many units. Here. He's going in. There is no wall. One siege tank. Is one siege tank really going to save Marine King here? It doesn't look like it. We may have our only Terran eliminated here 3-1 he's losing so much he can't let those depots down or the links are gonna get in but he's gonna lose his SCVs regardless this is a massacre he's losing so many of his officers down 21 already Marine King is losing ground by his life is sending units across the map to the right side the Terran player dropped down to 40 supply against 88 and here comes life crushing through the wall taking down supply depots taking down everything in his path and the same turn is not done it's not over yet the links run and taking out more depots the command center lifts, Marine King desperate to hold here, good repairs on his depots, he's trying to maximize the damage of the Hellions, but life, he's not just putting all of his eggs in one basket, he spreads the creep here, he walks back, he's got evolution chambers on the way, oh. this is not an all-in, he can't land his CC here. He blocks the CC with the creep, life is insane, there are two Marines somewhere on this map, and here they come, they're like, yeah, yeah, okay, we're gonna deal with that, but for Marine King, this is the most annoying part ever. He is, he has 45 total supply and Startail's life has 100 total supply and 56 harvesters. More harvesters than Marine King has army and supply, uh, sorry, harvester supply combined. I mean, just look at those awkward command centers. Look at that. They're You've floating there. One Marine, because that's all he's got. He doesn't have anything to even remove the Overlord. Now he has to wait. He's got two... <laughs> Awkward floating command centers. Yeah. That's all his hope he's got here. They are just standing there, standing still, looking pretty, but nothing else that they can do and accomplish. Here comes the Spire and life. Well, even taking a fourth the base, game, like you mine from one, I mine from four. That's yeah. fair. At this point, life has the game in his hands like play, and he can mold it into whatever he wants. He's got the ability to spread his creep over, not only to his fourth base, but beyond. He can move it over to that watchtower. Lings alone are not going to cut it against these Hellions on the map. That's one of the reasons I think where we're seeing the Spire. I think what we're going to see is him build up to attack at Marine King's eventual third base with a ton of Lings, Bane Lings upgrades. He could go for Roaches instead of Bane Lings, which it seems to be he's getting Roach speed right now, even getting plus one for his Roaches. At this point, really, Jurassic Park was proven to be true once again. Life is going to find a way. This is the story of this fourth map that we have. Life now with his perfect position. Marine King, he is known for his GG timings, and he is going to fight to the last SCV to the last second. He knows this is the last map, but now it would be not only a small miracle, it would be an incredible miracle if he can turn this game around with life being in such a dominant position. Yeah, you know, the problem with this incredible miracle is that life's good, man. Yeah. LG here, and I gotta say, Life. Marine King needs some prime play. He certainly will. Here come the Mutas. He's got no answer. The Thor is almost out. There's only one turret here. He has to cancel that turret. Uh, the Marine tank. King's life the is tank. flashing before his eyes here, and the tanks are vulnerable, as you said. He can't even move in. He doesn't take down the siege tank, but all these units that he just lost, it's too much. 35 harvesters killed. There There's are the, the Mutas. Are they going for the. Yes, they are going straight for the magic box. Itra introduced it to professional play. He didn't invent it, but he was the one who we saw use it first yeah. in, a to in a major tournament. And now Marine King, yes, he saves the Thor. There were too few Mutalists to take down the Thor and the Harvesters, but still, this much pressure. Marine, Marine King, King on two bases against four. He is know. holding on by a three.
man, and he better hope that thread is made of some sort of really tough material because Life is pulling hard, he's tugging, he's making his investor tech transition, he's getting into the hive tech right now, he's even getting Burrow, he's got total map dominance, this is a mistake to try to uh, walk out against this many Zerglings. Yeah, just look at that, I mean, there's always the saying, you shouldn't kick a man when he's down, but that's exactly what Life does. He is hitting Marine King at every angle and he's hitting him hard. He is kicking him and beating him to a pump. Look at that. Marine King is afraid to move out right now and I don't blame him. All these attacks have done so much damage. The resources lost at this point are uh, still very, very even. But with this base, just look at the economy that life has. Yeah, the resources mined are supply. definitely not even. And look at that damage output on those Thors. He's able to push the Mutas back. but. The Mutas are the least of his problems. The big problem is the Corruptors that are coming out here with the Hive finishing up. He's going to be able to start a Greer Spire. And Life is just building that bank now. He's already maxed out, essentially. He's got a few more Corruptors he wants to make. Then once his Greer Spire is finished, he's going to put that bank into Brewlords. And Marine King does not have the economy to really make Viking transitions possible. He's starting another Starport now. He's trying. He's trying, you know. He's really holding on here. He's been able to defend so well. But his economy is in tatters. Where is the third base? It's moving over now. It's going to be met with a Ling. In fact, a Ling that is burrowed. So this is just further annoyances for Marine King. Uh, I mean, you can't blame uh, you can't blame a girl for trying. Marine King is trying his hardest. He's still in a position where he wants to get this this massive amount of army of mech that we talked about in uh, game number one. Uh, he wants to just have a chance here. This is the last map for him. Life is taking bases all over the map. Top left, bottom right, and moving in at the same time, trying to finish it. This is just it's. Again, a trade for energy for units for life. He didn't actually get that much done, and I have to say, Marine King is really holding on here tight. And the closer bank. he gets to the max, the the better chance he has of winning a fight. But winning one fight may not be enough. When that Greater Spire finishes, we are going to see Broodlords fly. Exactly, that's the point, the Greater Spire. It's not only about reaching that max, but it's about this tech advantage that life has. You can't hit the timing that you want. You are up against a player that has so many upgrades. He has an upgrade advantage. He has this sick bank, 3,600 minerals, all that gas. He has 52 lava. Life has 52 lava. How many times have we seen Zerg players die because they didn't have the production? But this is not something the Marine King can hope for. Exactly. This is not something Life is worried about in the slightest. Plus two for Roaches coming out as well as for Lings and Broodlings. The first eight Broodlords are morphing and this is going to be a disaster for Marine King. He now starts additional Vikings. He's getting more Thors out. We talked about this already before. This is a great choice when you don't have the economy to make more Starports. You just continue Thor production. Yeah, and you don't have the time. Exactly. He needs to get this out. This is desperation mode right now for Marine King. He needs to hang on here, take a fight, and then somehow be able to push across the map. But with the composition he's building, it's a slow mech composition. Even if he can hold and trade well against Life's army, look at that crease spread. He it's going to take way too long to walk across the map. And Life is going to be able to remax instantly with all that larva you talked about with the bank he's building now. He even has the Ultralist transition yeah, on the what way. What Life doesn't do, what I really would like to see him uh, build now, is extractors at the top left and bottom right. He is not really starving for minerals, but he is really hurt when it comes down to the gas. Not because he doesn't have a good economy, but because he is just researching so much at this point. So if he gets the additional gas, Marine King has no chance anymore. Those extractors could be crucial if he doesn't win this battle, but he has the better army for sure. He certainly does. The Corruptors actually taking some serious th shots from the Vikings and from the Thors. He's got enough Thors to hold this initial wave, but now the Brewings are closing the distance. He's got investor support. Marine King is in trouble. He needs to hold so far. No it doesn't Vikings. look like he can really hang on anymore with all the Investor Terrans coming down. He's dropping in supply, and the Remax is insane. 122 wings on the way for life. There's just no Viking anymore, and even if he gets the Vikings now, suddenly we have the Zerglings, and they are such a big problem for him to deal with. There are the three blue flame Hellions, coming and down. he's trying his best, he's trying what he can do, but the big problem is, look at this economy, look at the minimap, look at this insane amount he's of units streaming built, to the top right. He's built those some of those ex additional extractors, he has 700 gas, he's just remaxing, and the next wave may be the end of not only breaking in this tournament, but with Terran as well. Hammer. He's dropping the hammer, and he is taking him down. Marine King trying to hold on, shielding his Hellions, but he just does not have the numbers. There is too much, too much of the swarm. Kerrigan would be proud. Life is overwhelming with Marine King. Zerg units everywhere, in the natural, in the third base. It is just insane, it's and here comes much. the transition into the Ultralus. Like you said, Marine King fights to the last SCB. His GG timings are something that we have talked about several times in the past. 
Green King able to take one win in this tournament, but it looks like life is going to the finals. This is what most people expected. Great fungal on those Vikings. Green King able to hold the ramp a little bit longer, but once those Ultralis get in here, I just don't know how long he's really going to make this work. And what good is this going to be for him if he actually holds his main base? Yeah, he can't even mine from the main base anymore. It's the Green out. King is just begging for mercy here, but life doesn't grant it. Yeah, we see some Vikings landing here. And they're almost as futile as the ones in the heart of the storm cinematic at this point with all these ultralists running in. Triple the supply here for life. He's trying to decide what to build next. He makes a hydralist in. <laughs> Manor hydralist in here. He goes for the hydra and he's like, buddy, seriously, are you still going to stay in the game? You know it's over. I know it's over. Everyone knows it's over. I think over. he's actually... You have no mining anymore. Your third base is at my mercy. There is nothing you could do. He's going to... He's really going for it. I think he's going to try to walk hydras across and, and dance them. <laughs> I think that may be what we see. I wouldn't blame it. <laughs> oh, this isn't going to be the end. The Thors try to make their last stand. The Ultralists, you know, on a ramp are not the best choice, but, I mean, he can lose 20 Ultralists and Marine King won't be able to recover. Marine King with a choke point control here, holding his base. But as we said, he has... N oh, wow. 35, 35 Hydralists. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Hey, look at how he's wasting his Ultralists. He's just going up the ramp and he's like, yeah, well, take them down. I'm going into the choke point. I do not care. Look at the creep. In a few seconds, he's actually going to have creep at Marine King's natural. I tell that's you. that's a sad face there for Marine King. He's going to do it. He's going to write a poem with the Zerklings. I, I believe that's the uh, German word for dead, and I think that's pretty much what Marine King is at this point. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why he drops that while we are in France. Green player. Here come the Hydralis, and this is what Marine King is dreading. He's embarrassed here by the Hydras. Will we see a dance? It's possible. Will we see the Hydra dance? He's taking down the first command center, and he is using those guys. No dance Brood so far. Lord, morphing on the ramp. He's using corruption on the siege tanks. The only thing that that is. GG, and life advances to the finals. Life advances, takes down Marine King in the first semifinal. He had Iron Squid with a 3-1. Impressive play by the young Zerg player. One of the favorites.